What is going on, brothers? It is your boy L. L excels, excels the game, excels my name. Make sure you guys go ahead and excel today. Hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button so we can make sure we get this video out there because I want to see you guys have the best kind of dynamics when it comes to dating a girl, whether she's your girlfriend, whether you want to propose to the girl. You want to make sure that the there's gonna be always highs, guys. Cause in a relationship, there's always gonna be highs and there's lows, okay? Nobody's perfect, I understand that. But I don't wanna see you guys failing no more when it comes to relationships. I failed plenty of times. So I'm gonna tell you guys the secrets on how to maneuver about this because I've been through this plenty of times. I screwed up many times when it comes to talking to girls, dating girls, and what I've learned and the best experiences and how to apply them forward for you guys, okay? Now, first things first, I want you to think back to when you first started talking to a girl, when you started, when you introduced yourself to her, you know, she's getting this vibe off you. She's reading you, bro, because first impressions always matter to a girl. And think about who you were as a person back when you first met a girl. You started seeing a girl, dating a girl. Maybe you met her at the bar. Maybe you met her outside at a party or wherever, guys. It doesn't matter. Let's just name a, a random scenario. Guys, how was your mindset like back then? Did you feel like you were on top of the world? Were you actually applying pressure to your life every day? Were you going hard? And were you devoted to you becoming successful, to you to improving your life in any way, shape, or form? Were you like devoted in the, in the gym and you felt confident, you know, physically confident? You felt like you were a handsome dude. You could step down to that little baddie, you know, that little blonde chick. Or if you're not into that, maybe that brunette chick, Spanish girl, White girl, black girl, don't matter, bro. This applies to all these women. Asian girl too, <laughs> not to like leave them out, but yeah, it applies to all of them, okay? What I've noticed, guys, when it comes to me approaching a girl, starting like dating a girl, I'm in like an optimal mi mindset. I'm having like, I'm feeling like the most confident I am. Whether I've been hitting the gym, whether I've been going hard at my job, or going hard at school or, you know, cause I graduated from college guys or, you know, you're, you're a business, right? You're, you're going crazy. You're, you're devoted to something. So now that makes you confident. You feel happy, man. Like you feel like you're on top of the world and she, she gets that vibe off you. That's very important guys. Okay. Cause women, they always want to feel happy, man. How does that song go? Girls want to have fun. I say this a million times and I'll say it a million times more. Girls are always gonna ha wanna have fun, no matter what. It doesn't matter how old they get, doesn't matter how young they are, whether they're 18, 25, 34, 57, doesn't matter, guys. They always wanna have fun, they wanna feel great, okay? Women don't wanna feel having all negative, they, they don't wanna deal with the world's problems. Guys, that's why they usually come to a, a, a guy, that's why they want a boyfriend, so, that guy can make her feel happy, AKA you, you know, you're her rock. You're her solid foundation. You're the guy she relies on to solve her problems. You're the guy that she wants to brag about to all her friends. Like, oh, look at my boyfriend. He, he's handsome, he's cute or whatever. Maybe he's, maybe you're tall or maybe you're stocky and short. Maybe you're short and built. It doesn't matter, guys. She wants to just brag about you in any way, shape or form. She's feeling you, bro. And that's the thing. She doesn't want to be around a negative mindset. So guys, it's very important that you always try to feel good as possible. Pause. You want to feel amazing and confident about yourself. That's why it's very important that you watch my other videos on how to self-improve, whether it's giving up an addiction, whether it's you know going monk mode for a little bit so you learn how to navigate the world socially, you know, just so you can just improve your life overall, it's very important you hit that subscribe button. But anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. You want to make sure that you're feeling 100% like happy around her. Whether whether or not you do feel happy, maybe there's days that you feel like crap. I get it. There's days I don't feel like my most optimal self. There's days I don't feel as confident as I would like to. But the thing is, guys, as a man, you have to understand that it's very important for you to perform. Instill that in your brain right now, okay? Guard that in your mind. In any way, in any situation, guys, whether you're at a job, whether you're going for an interview, 
whether you're dating a girl, you always have to perform in the bedroom. You have to perform, bro. You cannot let her down. You want to do your best to avoid to let her down. Let me put it that way. Because obviously, I know there's going to be times you're going to screw up, bro. There's going to be times you're not feeling your best. I understand that. But you always want to try your best to feel confident around her. Be solid. Be stern. Be, be happy around her. Be able to be yourself, guys. It's so important that you be yourself as well. You don't want to be like any other guy. You don't want to be a cookie cutter version of a stereotype. You don't want to be like a guy... Well, you're basically so easy to read. Guys, women like extri like extri extrinsic, I think that's the word. Basically, guys, she likes a variety of things. She likes, she wants her man to be an all-around kind of guy. She wants you to be able to be a mechanic one day. You could fix her problems that way. And one day she's gonna wanna learn something from you financially. So you wanna learn financial stuff. You wanna watch YouTube videos. You wanna read about Robert, Robert Kiyosaki and Good Dad. Rich dad, poor dad. You want to, you know, be just literate overall. So you're going to want to read classic literature. You want to be an overall kind of guy. Athletic. So it's very important you go to the gym. You know, you look the part. You feel amazing. You're looking handsome. Your health's increasing. Stamina's increasing well. For obvious reasons, I don't have to put out there. But guys, yes. It's so important that you try to feel confident, man. Easier said than done. I get it. That's why it's very important before you start dating, guys, that you built yourself up to a certain level, okay? Because guys, when I was dating, basically when I was younger, it, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna contradict myself, but hear me out. This is why you need to stay to the end of the video if you made it this far. Guys, understand that when you typically date younger, okay? If you're not dating your high school sweetheart and you start dating in college, you, you wanna date a girl that hasn't been around the block if you want a serious relationship when you're younger. Other than that, guys, dating is a waste of time when you're younger. That's the time where you need to dial in, focus, have laser focus like your Cyclops from the X-Men. Laser focus. You're, you're dialed in on improving your life. You're dialed in on maybe graduating from college. You're dialed in on graduating from a trade school. You're dialed in on starting your own business. You're dialed in on working on your fitness, on your health. You're dialed in on working on your mental as well. You have to improve in all these aspects. It's very important before you start dating because guys, if you date beforehand, you're not gonna be a guy who has experiences, okay? So, for example, I'll give you experiences, guys. I'll give you some of my experiences. I remember um, I started dating this one girl back when I was, you know, attending university. And looking back on it, it was very important that I went through that. But it taught me a lot, guys. It taught me. It taught me that you have to be a well-around man because, guys, girls are gonna want to always have their best option. And that's why I tell you guys, it's very important that you always try to be the best option. Not just, Don't improve your life just strictly for a girl. Because if you do it that way, it's going to be wrong. It's going to be messed up. Because you're always going to need a female's approval. Okay, that's that's a feminine trait. You don't, you don't need that. As a guy, you need to improve your life strictly for you. Yes, if you want to improve your life. Yes, I understand a girl could be a motivation. Maybe you're getting over an ex. Maybe you had your heart broken. And now it's it's making you focus. It's, it's forcing you to... Love love because you want to, you know, you want to crap on her, <laughs> but I get it. But eventually you're going to have to reach a point where now you're just improving for you. So you could just have a better life. So you see better results just about yourself. So you just wake up and feel happy about yourself and you don't need no one else's approval. That's why, I, that's why it's very important that you level up in this way that you, yes, go have fun, go date girls. Nothing wrong with that. Do your thing. But to take a girl serious when you're younger, at least I would say no less than 25, guys. Okay? Because this is the time for you to really dial in and know what you want to do with your life. Okay? If you haven't figured out what you want to do to at least 26 in your life, then you got some reevaluating to do. Because, guys, as men, we all have a purpose. We're all put on this earth for something. Yes, I know we all want to have kids. Yes, I, I get that. But you want to leave a legacy. 
for your future, don't you? Don't, don't you wanna have something that your family can rely on? You provide for your, your parents, you wanna retire your parents, maybe you wanna make sure your kids are, are good off, maybe the generation after them. You wanna make sure they're good, bro. That's the kind of mindset you, you should have because if you don't have that, then you're pretty much selfish. But yes, guys, I kinda of went off on a tangent there. The point is, you wanna do your best to be an all around kind of guy, a handyman, financial man, financially literate, you know, just literate in general, confident, handsome, you know, there's there's ways you can improve your looks, guys, you know, get stuff that fits you, go to the gym. Maybe if you're a skinny guy, put on some weight on you. Maybe if you're a heavier guy, you can lose some weight. Okay, understand that, man. If you haven't already, guys, it's time to start excelling. It's time to start improving our life. Not just strictly for girls, but strictly for you. Women are attracted to that. They're going to be attracted to you. Always constantly level up because that's how she's going to know, guys. Like, damn, he, there's no stopping him. And they, when they see that you're single, bro, I'm, this is a secret. When they see that you're single and you still continually, continuously level up, that's what gets girls hooked. Because they see, damn, he doesn't even have a girl. He doesn't need that kind of motivation to make his life better. Oh, he's good. He's going to be good. I'm trying to lock him down. Because he's always going to want to do better. He's always going to want to improve in his life. And nothing wrong with a girl trying to be with you so you, you can be able to provide for her. But only a good girl. Not just any girl. Not just some hood burger. Not just some, you know, daddy off the street. But yes, guys, understand that when you feel confident, you feel great about yourself, she's going to feel good around you. She's going to rely on you. She's going to let herself act like a lady because most girls don't even let their guard down. They don't allow themselves to feel feminine nowadays because what are girls doing nowadays? Clubbing, partying, working, you know, they have their careers and most of them don't even like it. The sad truth, most of them, guys, I'm telling you, most girls just want to be a stay-at-home Girlfriend, stay at home mom, just cook and clean for a man that she admires. Be that guy that she admires in her eyes. Be a man that every woman admires. Not just for one girl, but everyone in general. Like, damn, he's, he's doing something with his life. Be that kind of guy. Be a leader, an example. Stop following the crowd. Stop going out every weekend. Stop going out, partying and drinking. Waste the time, guys. I can tell you from my experiences, you know, 2022, 2023... I was still turning up. This year, we dialed in, man. Not just I'm not just focusing up because now it's 2024. Don't get that wrong. This is my mindset, though. This is my mindset. Is you know I'm reaching a point in my life where I just want to do better, bro. So it's going to require some sacrifices, time alone. The point is, you just have to continuously improve. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's the truth. <laughs> You guys made it this far in my video. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. Also, guys, make sure you follow my Instagram and my Twitter down below. I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's your boy, Al. Hell excels. Excels the game. Excels my name. Make sure you boys excel today. And I'm out of here.